I don't want to set the world on fire I just want to start a flame in your heart In my heart I have but one desire And that one is you No other will do Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you guys are too poor to own a vintage looking smack home appliance, which I personally think that they are overpriced as well, these are the ones that you may want to consider. These are the vintage breakfast series from Faber and they consist of four home appliances. So first of all, we have the bread toaster, two kettles and one blender. And we are going to talk about them in today's video. Let's start off with these two kettles. Now, I particularly love the design of this kettle because it looks really nice in my kitchen and it has this really nice vintage kettle design that you don't usually see in your kitchen, all right? Now, you get this really nice plastic handle on the top. Now, which unfortunately, this is not adjustable. So in case you, if you were to fill up water on this thing right here, it's not going to be like super convenient because you can't twist this handle, but still, it is a pretty nice looking piece of home appliance. Now, it, despite having different sizes, like you thought this would actually store less water or whatsoever, both these kettles can store up to 1.7 liters of water, so which is actually quite a lot for making coffee and tea. Now, they are both made of premium stainless steel material, which is very durable and all that. And let's take a look at the inside, shall we? Now, um, we are going to open this kettle and jug kettle. Now, take a look at the inside here. It is made out of a stainless steel uh, material for its inner body here, which is very good because it will last for a long time. And interestingly, on this kettle here, you even get this plastic filter here that prevents tea leaves or stains from going out of the outlet just in case you're if you're serving some drinks. Even for the jug kettle as well, you even get some holes right here that prevents tea leaves from going out. So whatever drinks that you're making out of these kettles, you are sure to enjoy a really, really good drink. Now, to boil uh, water, you simply just have to tap on these buttons right here. Put, make sure you put onto the pedestals and once you tap on these buttons and they will start boiling. Now, speaking of boiling, what's really interesting here is that you can monitor the temperature of the water of both these kettles. So you get this temperature meter on the front, which I think it looks really interesting. It's not a digital meter, but it's an analog meter that just goes up, which I think it looks super, super cool. Now, this is something that's really useful that's not available on probably similar price kettles or those non-smart kettles is that uh, you can actually monitor the temperature when you're having tea and all that. And once it goes low, you can just reboil it again to enjoy a good hot drink. Next, let's do some blending on the Faber Vintage Blender. Now, I really love how this blender looks like and just like the kettles that we talked about before, it has the same beige color design and it will fit really nice in an kitchen. Now, it is made out of stainless steel material as well for its body and you get this very nice classic looking knob with two speed controls as well as a pulse control as well. So what I really love about this blender is this glass jar which stores up to 1.5 liters of content and one thing good about glass jars is that they are more durable and it wouldn't have any scratches in the long term unlike those with plastic jars and it's, it's just incredible that Faber has managed to offer this for just under 200 ringgit. Now the blades inside is a stainless steel blade as well that can last very long. It is a six piece blade that will blend very well but to find out how well it blends I'm just going to pour this plate of apples into our blender and blend some apple juice. Okay so once we're done on to it tight and we're going to start with speed one mm -hmm. Alright, uh, looks like we are done. Let's just do a little bit of pulse, shall we? Alright, I think our apple juice is done. Let's just pour and we're going to have someone to test our apple juice, shall we? Here, here's our apple juice. Does it taste good? 
Yeah. It tastes good. Does it taste better than what you make yourself? Um, almost the same. Almost the same. Okay. That's, just apple juice. It's just apple juice. Okay. Which means we bought pretty good apples. Finally, we've come to the toaster. Now, what I really love about the Faber Vintage Toaster is this really nice looking lever with this round colored chrome ball that you just simply press down to start toasting your bread. Now, of course, you do get a round knob here to select the duration that you want to toast your bread. So we have up to five minutes of duration, which I personally do not recommend if you are thinking to toast two pieces of gardenia bread. And of course, we get three buttons of defrost, reheat, and cancel and it's interesting that they have a cancel button here because what i'll usually do is to just tap up the lever and it's all done now of course this toaster also has a tray to clear off breadcrumbs and all that and all you need to do is to just pull out this plastic piece on the right side of the toaster now this is how it looks like so we have already toasted some bread previously so this is how the tray looks like it is in stainless steel that's really nice all right so we're just gonna put it back right now and we're gonna toast some gardenia bread shall we so let's put on two pieces of bread right here and make sure it's in one minute all right you're all good and let's do it in three two one go all right, so you can see that once it is toasting the bread, you get this red color right on this cancel button here. So just in case if you think you have uh, toasted your bread for too long, just hit that button and your bread will come up. Ooh, there you go. All right, so apparently one minute is not enough. Um, it's slightly toasted, but it's not too bad. It's just, just gonna get a bite. Hmm. Nice toasty bread. So yup, these are the favorite vintage breakfast series of kitchen appliances. They look good and work well in your kitchen, but most importantly, they are inexpensive. They retail for under 200 ringgit respectively, and they can be easily purchased on Shopee and Lazada or even at Fable's official store. I really love how these kitchen appliances look like and I recommend that you go check them out. So that's all for this video for today. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos and I will see you in the next one.